so on this tutorial you're going to learn how to add in links to where when you click on the banner it actually takes you back to the main page okay let's move on and let's change the banner here to where it is linked and it has alt text on it so if you scroll down on the header you'll see some information with other stuff but anything above the heading doesn't actually show up on the page that's more for the computers now down here we see a container and it has the header with a link to a URL with a name so if we look at this that's this link right here and then you go down and it has a link that's a i h r e f that means link to the about page um, we look again that's right here cool so we're making sense of what's in here then we go down further and we see page wrapper and I'm assuming this table around is the page wrapper we we'll keep on going and here we see banner now I personally don't prefer seeing the banner like this anytime it's in division fields that means you have to go over to the style sheet and see how the division is set up and we're going to look for that ID called banner and we scroll down until we find the banner if you can't find it you can always do a search for it so we press Control F banner and here it is so this is all the information about the banner like I said before I don't really prefer to have this here so I'll take this information and I'll copy it over to the other page so mainly I want the width and the height so I can throw that into my own coding we go back to the header page and here we're going to put image source equals tell what the width is and tell it what the height is and then let's close up that image source now for now I'm not sure if this is going to work so let's just put in our ignore brackets and update the file and we'll see how we did most likely this isn't going to be in the page wrapper and we're going to have to play around with the division codes to fix that okay it actually looks like it's in the field I just didn't upload the right image I can go into my FTP go to the content folder and figure out exactly where that is so it's in themes in here in images and then the banner so this entire line within the MOV fitness directory is where my picture is so we'll go back down here and paste all of that in and now everything should work we come back we refresh and now we have the picture here and as you can see it looks different than the other picture did this picture is a little bit scrunched and it has the text down here now that I know that the height of my picture has to be 150 pixels I can go back in and change that picture to reflect something better so let's go ahead and do that and I'll open a recent file you'll see the sunset header here and we only have 150 pixels to work with so take both of these and move them down a little lower and take your marquee tool and choose fixed size 704 by 152 it already has it on there for me how convenient but the picture is too big right now so let's change that and resize it and that's about the size we need for our image so we'll go ahead and crop this okay and I want that nice rounded look that we did on our other images take our rounded tool okay we go back to our folder here and if you want to use that old picture go ahead and save it, it doesn't take up that much memory I just renamed it to old 2 and we'll go to our desktop now you see the sharp corners here but then we have a nice rounded look there so let's get rid of that just by refreshing and our new image should be loaded alright and it has nice rounded edges and the text is a little bit easier to read than before but we still can't click on the image for it to go anywhere so let's go back to our header but now that we have the right image in here let's put in a 
link around this. So bracket a h r e f equals quotation. Then your link goes inside of here. Never put www. Always put http before everything. And we're going to have it come right back to the main Venice page anytime somebody clicks right on this picture. And then at the end of all of this, we're going to put another bracket and close it up with a slash A. So also in here, I'm going to throw in another thing. I'm going to make the border equal zero. That way there's no line around the out edge of the picture and it stays seamless. So we don't want it to look like a link. But now when you highlight, you can see that you can click on that. So no matter what page I am on over here, when I click on the picture, it'll take me back to the main page. Okay, to give us further search engine optimization, we want when we highlight pictures like this, we don't want that word picture run to show up. Small changes will help out your search engine optimization a lot, such as this. We go to the page that contains that post, and once there, look at the visual side of that picture. And you'll see the picture down here. When you highlight over it and click on it, this option comes up to add further editing to your image. Right there, edit image title. It's called Picture Run right now. And let's call that Venice Beach and Muscle Beach 5K. That way, when people search for Muscle Beach 5K, this picture will be one of the results that comes up, which in turn leads them to our website and we can update the page. Now instead of using WordPress's tools to do that, you can also go in here into the HTML. And over there at the Alt, we want to change that. And as you can see, the Alt still says Picture Run. I don't care for that too much. It says Title Venice Beach and Muscle Beach 5K, but the Alt is still Picture Run. And this is where Google really picks up. So let's change that. Let's take this text that's here, copy that, and paste it in there. Then update the page. Now when you look at that on the main site here, now when you hover over the picture, it says Venice Beach and Muscle Beach 5K. Much better for search engine optimization. Go ahead and do that on all of your pictures. You see we have it here, we have it here, and we'll have it on any other picture that comes in. You have the option to do it on this main banner too. How do we do that? Go back to the page, go to Appearances, Editor, Header, and find that picture in here. Right here we have the picture, there's the image source, but there's no alt code, so you'll have to add the alt code in. ALT equals, then sunset run on the beach. And I just try to choose as many different things as I can when I'm typing stuff in. Put quotation marks around that so it knows to keep it in the alt tab. And you might not prefer to have it there, because when you highlight over now, nothing happens. It doesn't come up with any extra text, but then when we refresh, now it's going to say sunset run on the beach. I'm okay with that. I'm, I'm always concerned with better search engine optimization as opposed to better aesthetics. And it doesn't make that big of a difference as when somebody highlights there. I don't think people will mind that. Okay, so this further tweaks and polishes your website so you get even better search engine optimization. Go ahead and check out our MOV Fitness websites and type in personal training in Santa Barbara. Santa Barbara Boot Camps, Santa Monica Boot Camps, and you'll see that this has effectively helped out our fitness business in all of those areas. And this concludes this tutorial.